Hi everyone, so in today's video I want to show you um, some of the new kits that uh, Dynapress has brought to HSN. I'll open one of them and we'll work with it. Uh, you probably already saw in the thumbnail there, but I did want to make you aware that there are two other sets that are now available there on HSN. Um, that Dynapress and myself will be presenting um, during the June 11th Big Craft live stream that HSN will be hosting. So uh, I will be there time and all that stuff I will update in the description box whenever uh, we get a little closer to the event. I do have an idea right now what the timing might be, but I don't want it to change and then you have that in your mind. So, uh, you know, in the next few days I'll continue making videos and of course I will definitely let you guys know uh, closer to June 11th um, the time that we will be on. So, um, these items were sent free of charge from my review and of course all opinions are my own and any links in the description box will be affiliate links which means I'll make a small commission for your purchase items through the link links, excuse me, possibly the little shopping bag there. Um, I will say I think there's going to be four sets, but three of them are now available there on HSN, so I thought, you know what, if you guys want to pick them up early, you can craft along with me or, you know, however you like, but I wanted to show them to you uh, now. So um, we have the Dime Press Alphabet kit, um, alphabet die kit called Inline. So I'm going to work with this one today, I believe. We have Stamp and Die uh, Garden Party and also one called Girl Squad. So these two, you know what, I'll go ahead and open them now just to show you them. Uh, let me go ahead and open them up and I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So again, Garden Party looks something like this. I'll show you the inspo sheet. I do want to show you they're a really nice size. Um, even this word here, like celebrate, is like three and three quarters. This little focal, like um, birthday cake or cake, is just over three and a half um, by two and three quarters inch or so wide. So let's just look at the inspo sheet right quick. Like I said, I will come back and do uh, tutorials on them. But here you go. And then of course on June 11th you'll see them there too. So cake, the little cupcake, how cute is that? Um, it looks like a flower that you can have layers, so little um, stamping and then like the outline and then you can cut that out. So they have a few different ones there. A cool little like star, little leaves and sprigs and like little banner and fun things about the word celebrate. The balloon which is super cute so you can color it in and then it has different um, Oh, that is adorable. I was wondering what this one was. I was like, it looks like like little streamer things. I had a feeling it had to do with the balloon, but I, I didn't realize you can pair it up. That's very cute and the different strings. Um, and then some inspo. So I want to show you guys that one right quick. And then also uh, this one over here. Our girl squad one here. And it has the cute little hands. Mickey Hearts. Miranda does that like every day. Always <laughs> doing that to uh, say she loves me and very sweet. So uh, four and a quarter by like two and a half on this larger one. And then you can imagine the other ones that has BFF. I can see that there. So let's check this guy out. I love the um, carrier colors on this. I really think that's really fun that Darren Press always does that. Um, so we have like a little group of girls, the girl squad there <laughs> from like the back. Like they're sitting next to each other. A little hug here. Um, look at the little hands. So it does have the die and then it has the hand stamp for that. Best and friends. And Miranda loves picking up these little charm type things at Claire's all the time. Um, we have the little flowers. So like you have this, um, different pieces. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. So what they're showing you is that you have like, I'm sorry about the lighting. Uh, a piece that gives you like detail in the little center. So let's say you already use a color piece of paper like a light purple and then you stamp the darker purple and then the center or however, right? So very cool. And same thing with all these. So that's going to be really fun. Um, eliminates, you know, doing the base stamp and then the other stamp. So that's pretty cool. Um, little leaves that are just very stylized. Look at that. Cute. And then BFF, some hearts, you know, different things like that. Very stylized hearts. I like the way those, those look like they were just drawn with like a calligraphy pen. And then the inspo. So I just want to show you those. I will show you all of them, of course, as they are released. Sorry about that. Um, so I did want to show you guys these since they are there and now available on HSN. And of course, I'll have other videos on them and you will see them June 11th. And then today we're going to work with this guy. So inline alphabet. And I was wondering why it's called inline. I can see it has like some embossing possibly. It puts like a little line in there. So let me open that guy up. We have the cutting folder for the marquee. So if you have a marquee, you can definitely obviously run that through there. But if you don't, you can just put it to the side for some other use. Um, these thin metal dies will go through any machine that cuts thin metal dies. And I get that question really often. Again, I don't know where people are in their crafting journey. So generally machines that cut thin metal dies will cut 
any other brands than metal dies and vice versa so you can mix and match that way um Diamond Press has been including these adhesive sheets in their kits. So it's two adhesive sheets with um, an applicator. So you can imagine if you had a little, um, well, maybe we'll use it today so we can pop these on here. But you have these little gray dots that are the actual adhesives. So you put the back of your uh, die cut facing those gray dots. You can just open up, close it down, go like this to scrape that and really adhere that to the back of your uh, die cut and then you just use it. Take it right off there. So more uh, refills of these if you like them uh, you can definitely find them on mydiamondpress.com and I'll have them linked in the description box along with a 10% discount code for my diamond press, not on HSN. Okay guys, <laughs> I get that question very often too. Um, so here are our letters obviously A through Z. Very cute. And then um, they have that little line detail right so like it's an embossed detail. So there you go. And let's see how big these guys are. And we will just create a little something cute. I'm thinking about using them as like a pennant banner kind of thing. I would love doing that. So I think that'll be fun. But it looks like they're about, I would say, the metal to metal. They're like one and three eighths of an inch. So, you know, cut line to cut line. It's like they're one and a quarter inch. Roughly. Okay. And they're about eh, five eighths of an inch wide. I would say. So I'm going to grab some paper and some other cute stuff to make a little banner, something adorable like that. I love seeing like those um, bunt cakes where they have like a cute little something on them. I think that's adorable. Um, you know, treat stations at parties or however you can put cute little labels. Anyway, I will be right back. Hey guys, so I just grabbed some items. I have some of this beautiful twine from one of um, an older die press kit. I like that lime color right there, so I'm going to use that. I grabbed some little wooden skewers or dowels. Um, these are really long ones, Jeez, more for like light. kebab type things. <laughs> I have some shorter ones, and I think I'll use this one today, because if I put in a little thing, I would like these for my project. So I'll use these two shorter ones. Um, I just grabbed some colors I thought would be pretty, and honestly, these really, really pop. And I think what I'll do is this as the background piece and then I'll cut my letters from this and I think I'm just gonna cut out the word treat or treats I think treats is fun so T as many you know as will fit and then of course I'll come back and rerun the E and I mean sorry the T I think it's the only one that repeats yeah someone's name obviously we can use these on cards these are really nice size um, I'm gonna get an S too and this paper is so pretty I love this color um, okay so let's think about pattern papers. All those kinds of things would be really, really lovely. Um, so I'm just going to stick these down and cut away the paper. I'll be right back. Just trim that away. Stuck those guys down really nicely. And you can definitely make your own little, like, banner pieces to put these on. I have a... Of course, all the different die shapes that we have. I mean, there's so many ways to play with this. But I'm just going to pop out our little pennant background with this little hand punch I have, and it has a cute shape, so I think I'll use that. So there are our letters. Oh, how cool is that? So see, you can see the little embossed look. Are they really on there? <laughs> there you go. Let's get this off of here. Look at that. And I'm just going to run the T through one more time so we have all of our letters. How cute is that? And I'll be right back. Okay, we have all of our letters here. And good to go. I just want to check one thing. Like the S, if it's the lower, the smaller part that goes up. Yeah. So I always refer back to this. If there's ever an alphabet you have and you're not sure, it's like, oh, it's supposed to be down or up or however, you can definitely check the carrier <laughs> and see what they recommend. So I have six here, so I'm going to pop out six of these little guys oh my goodness I was just thinking with the other one with the cake or some of those images wouldn't that be fun to um, use those guys to uh, add like a little little something like a little heart or something else so not just the word treats but also um, you know a couple little extras that have like something cute and decorative but anyway I'm gonna pop out six of these and I'll be right back okay, so we have all these so I'm gonna go ahead and just glue down our letters onto these guys let me see where the best spacing would be yeah just like right in there and, you know I can pop holes here and here to make the banner but I think I'm gonna pop them up here at the top so something like that 
So for right now, I'm just going to glue them down. I'm just going to take a moment and get those all on there. Right now that I'm back into scrapbooking big time, um, this would be really great. I know, you know, electronic die cutting machines are great and all, but they can be very persnickety and sometimes, you know, you just want to run it through and have that cute texture and just be done with it. And uh, these kinds of things really help with that. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and glue them all down and I'll be right back. And I'm just eyeballing all of this. I'll do maybe three or I guess three at a time. Uh, I'm just going to take these guys and I have pretty powerful punch, but if your punch isn't too strong, you want to do one at a time. And I'm going to run it through the smaller punch. You know, it makes a couple different types of holes here. So right down there. And then right near it, another one. And I'm definitely eyeballing this, so you know, wish me luck. Hey, that's pretty good. And then I'm just going to use one of these guys as a guide for these other ones. So I'll just stack these guys. Put that one on top and eyeball where I'm cutting, where I'm punching. So just looking down in there and just kind of matching up those little circles. That looks really good. And there we go. And one more time. Look at that. I'm going to rearrange them back into um, what we need there. And let me go ahead and grab just the length of this cute twine and I'll be right back. If you're not sure how much of this you need, I mean, I would just leave it on there and keep stringing them right and moving them along, but I'm just going to cut a good length of it. And I'm going to go through and push these guys through. If you want to put like a little tape around this, you can definitely do that or put it like on a darning needle if you have or a, you know, bigger needle, yarn needle, if it can go through these little holes. And I'm trying to think if I want it to go to the front. Let's see, do I want it to go back and then front? Or however you want to string it. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, so from the back, up, and then down into it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and run through and do that. And I will be right back once I have them all strung on. Okay, I'm on the very last one here. And, you know, you can see how what kind of spacing you want. Obviously I'm going to put this a little bit different and I'm going to tie this on. So let me just give myself a little bit more. We don't have to struggle. You can always readjust this. The way I'm putting them on, they can just, they're adjustable. <laughs> so I'm just going to cut a length off of there. And I would say that's probably a foot, a foot and a half maybe. Um, but again, we can play with that part. I'm going to fire up my um, hot glue gun also because I'm going to stick these on here and then we're going to add a cute little bow and a little extra like finger bow which we love to do so let's get the finger bows ready again we don't have to cut this off either but just we're going to take the end of our twine and put it over our two fingers middle and index finger and then we're going to go in between them under and back around our middle finger over your index finger around do it again however many times you want to do this okay so whatever you think I think that's let's do it one more time let's do three so here and here and leave yourself a nice little length that doesn't have to be too much but you don't want to end up short we're gonna bring this up over in the center across everything push it through your finger so you're catching it back here and then you're just gonna take that guy and you just made like a little a little line here across here right we're gonna go under it under just that piece and out so you can pull it tight so you just made like a little knot and once you pull that tight that is your bow so I'm gonna make a second one exactly the same they're a little more organic obviously we're using whatever size our fingers are you can spread your fingers out a little bit more if you want these more flouncy but I think that looks really great I'm gonna gonna go ahead and cut that right now I'm make another one Pretty much the same. I'll be right back. Let my glue gun heat up here, but another thing, you know, obviously it's spelled incorrectly because I had the T there, but you can definitely use these as um, stencils too, so something to think about. Um, I would just glue this on, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a little tie. So however far from your lettering that you would like, I'm just going to give it a little bit of a knot 
And you can leave that hanging there. I mean, if you don't mind that this has three little guys hanging down, you know, that's up to you. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of it. So I'm going to make one more knot just so I can make sure that doesn't undo. And we're going to put hot glue on there anyway, so that'll hold it also. But you can definitely leave that little string there, or don't even use the bows. Just do the little string just like that. I'm going to cut that a little bit close. And I'll do the same thing on this other side. Just tie it on. Okay. And again, we can just arrange that better when we're done. And I'm just going to put some hot glue on the back of this guy. I think it's ready. Yep. And again, don't pull away your hot glue globs until you're done. Because all it'll do is just keep making strings, so which isn't fun. So I'll hold that there. Do the same thing with this one. Put a little glob of glue and hold it right there. Okay, guys. So again, now you can just kind of take that and arrange however the spacing that you want there for your little guys. And then you can take that and you can pop it in a cake or however. Look at how cute. For me, I think I'm going to have from one basket to another basket that has like cute things in it. Cupcake tower. I mean, there's lots of ways to use this kind of thing and be just really adorable. So hopefully that gave you some idea of how to use those for this kind of thing. Um, again, the little stringies that you get from your hot glue, just pull them after it dries. Because if you pull, I'm telling you, it's just going to keep pulling and keep pulling and making more and more of those little strings. So you just wait till it's set up and then get rid of them. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, definitely keep an eye out. I'll have more tutorials with those new kits and then I'll definitely have them um, to show you guys um, some fresh new ideas with them on June 11th. They won't be the same ideas. Okay, I'll have something different for you on, the, on that day. So uh, um, I'll link there. Uh, thank you so much Diane Press for sending these items for review for this opportunity, you guys. Um, yes, I get nervous and yes, it'll be a lot of fun. We just got to get there and uh, I think um, it'll be just a really, really great time. Again, it's generally 12 hours of crafting, so I hope that's what they're still doing uh, this time around and I will update the links as far as how to get there the time and all that stuff as the day gets uh, closer okay so um, just you can check back and I'll have that updated for right now it'll say June 11th because that's when it's going to be but um, as far as timing I will update those numbers and then again how to get there right so um, uh, where, where you can watch it so alright guys thanks for watching I'll see you all at the next one bye now